To make a job in Next Minute, click on Add, type in the job's name, and from here we can click Save or we can add a couple more details to the job. So I'm going to add a couple more details. I reckon we'll kick this job off there on the 3rd and we're going to be working on this for a fair while, I reckon until about the end of September there. Now from here, we can select a job status. So if I click on here, I can add in any of these job statuses and down below, you'll be able to see that you can edit and customize all the names and colors of these. So I'm gonna to click to price up because I haven't done a quote for this job yet. The job type, again, I'm gonna click here on a new build, but these are all customizable. And the pricing type for the new build, I'm gonna choose fixed pricing. Now, when it comes to the customer, if this is a pre-existing customer in your accounting software, this is the first part of the two-way integration you'll see, because if I click on here, you'll see that all your pre-existing customers will appear. You can search for them as well. If they're not a customer and it's uh, someone new, you can click add and you can add that person into next minute. And once you invoice out having won the job, that customer will be created in your accounting software. For now, I'm just gonna click on Adam Peters. We'll scroll down and we can see that the address was added. Now this description box will save you a headache because in here, all the things that you usually repeat to the boys 101 times, you can actually type in here. So on site from 7 a.m. All materials. Now we can click on here to display on the job planning board, which we can show through on a demo with you. Um, and we'll also click on the time sheets must be added to tasks, which will get the boys to add their time to a job stage, which will help in back costing, which we can go through with you in a demo as well. From there, we'll click save. And you'll be able to see here the job has been created. There is all the folders that you can keep your tasks, your photos, your you know, council docs or approvals or insurance files under there, quotes, invoices and purchase orders or supplier invoices. You'll also notice that the location comes up here. For the guys using the phone, when they open up their phone, they will be able to get directions to that location using whatever phone maps they use. 